It's a real beast for the price. Our product today is the Retix Vone 115 Digital Radio MFM. This product is sold by Retix. Make sure this fits by entering your model number. Portable shortwave radio is only 4. 73x3. 15s 0. 9 in which is very suitable for shirt pockets. It is amazing to find so much functionality in such a compact radio. Digital radio base sound with mic recording and line in recording. Insert the TF card to record your voice or radio voice. Note that the TF card is not in the package. Digital tuning radio. You can directly enter the frequency through the number keys. In addition, Vone 115 also supports automatic search, manual search, and storage of radio stations. Built in five languages, Chinese, English, Spanish, Russian, and Japanese, the neck tank for M tuning increment package, not including adapter, just including us cable, you can charge the radio from computer or connect phone adapter. M F M S W radios, FM 87,000, 100 items, M 5 million, 201,700 tanks, 900 tank, SW4. 7,521. 85 of his FM reception is best. SW reception is better at night or when an external antenna is connected. M reception is easily affected by the environment. Shortwave reception tips extending the antenna can significantly improve shortwave reception. Keep away from indoor fluorescent lamps, computers. 4.2 out of 5 stars. The item has a total of 6,620 reviews. Product linked in the description below. The first review is from Kyle. It's a real beast for the price. 5.0 out of 5 stars. This is probably the best radio I've found under 25. It is packed with features including MUs and FM reception. I do have a rather long wire reel antenna that came with an old radio that I no longer have, and I find that plugging this into the Alenine jack can greatly improve shortwave reception, and even can affect FM reception to a point as well. M3 player is equally impressive, allowing dialing up the song I want to hear, which although this involves memorizing the numbers, still allows for faster playback of exactly what I want to hear than navigating a large folder with only back and forward buttons, although this type of navigation is also possible. I like even better that my music is separated from any recordings I make and I can toggle between my music and my recordings by holding in the zero button for about a second. The recorder has three quality settings, 64 ps 22, 5th 96 ps 44, Onex and 120 ips 44, Onex all three format, recording from radio and O is fairly good quality. Mic recording also sounds fairly good except that the automatic level control is a bit too quick so it is rather audible. I successfully recorded a phone call on my computer using only this record function, a headphone cable with inline mic and loopback software to send my voice through the line to the recorder. First of all, the speaker in this thing gets surprisingly loud, and although not booming, the bass response is quite good for its size. In this mode, the level control isn't as audible. That said, the mic recording is really quite good when the background noise level is high. It actually sounds better in a moderately noisy setting than it does in a quiet environment. Still, this is another impressive feature given the price of the unit overall. I am pleasantly surprised by the sound card functionality in this little thing. I first plugged it into the USB port on my computer then I tried it in my phone using a USB-A to USB-C adapter. Although the radio does not record when plugged into USB, the computer and phone can use its mic and speaker to record and playback just like a sound card. Both recording and playback rival many built-in laptop mics and speakers. Still, I enjoy having this functionality available, especially within this price range and with all the other features packed into this little bitty box. Battery life is very good for a small and loud system like this. It really is impressive 
for something so small it can fit into a pocket. It's not using the usual AA or AAA batteries, but instead uses a rechargeable Pacific lithium battery, the kind some Nokia phones used about 15 years back. This battery is quite easy to find, and I opted to purchase a 1500mAh replacement to use instead of the 1000mAh battery that ships with the radio. I seem to get about 8 to 10 hours continuous sound out of the original battery and nearly 15 hours from the replacement I purchased. I also use an external charger most of the time, although I don't have any problems using the included USB cable, the external charger just charges the battery in about half the time, although there is an advantage to charging via the USB cable while playing either the radio or the 3 player. It will also charge while connected to my computer, which is another benefit of using the cable. Probably the biggest problem I've had with this is the headphone jack. First, others have mentioned the sound quality using headphones, and yes, it definitely does leave a lot to be desired. Somehow I don't notice the sound quality issue when I connect it to a Bluetooth transmitter and use my high-end Bluetooth headphones with it, but for a direct connection, it doesn't sound that great. I'm not sure what makes the Bluetooth transmitter work better. I only mention it because it is the one way I found to work around the rather poor sound from the headphone jack. Also, I don't know if maybe I have a slightly defective unit, but on mine, the left and right channels are swapped in the headphone jack, so sounds that should play on the left side are heard on the right side, and sounds that should play on the right side are heard on the left side. Distortion can of course occur when the volume is set too high, but it does get pretty loud before that happens. For some people this may not be so noticeable, but I tend to notice things like this, and they bug me for some reason. Recordings from the radio do seem to come out with the channels correct, so this is not at all a deal breaker, since it could just be a defect in the specific unit I have, one of the best things about this radio is the fact that the buttons are very solid and stable. It's not easy to bump something and cause undesired effects, and a lock is also available just in case. These click buttons cause one drawback in recording, since they make a clicking sound when pausing or stopping a mic recording, but this is definitely tolerable when considering that buttons like these will not break down easily over time. I had another radio that I purchased at a lower price and had less features, and I thought the knob it had for step tuning was pretty nice right up until the time it broke off inside of the thing. Fortunately these buttons don't look like they're going anywhere, and the lack of a knob like this is actually more of a pro than a con. Did I mention this thing is a beast? I have had this for nearly two years, and I take it out and about quite a bit. It has some battle scars from runins with pavement a time or two, but it still works maybe better now even than it did when I purchased it two years ago. Overall, I highly recommend this Radio Recurdum 3 Player Rusp and Lining Speaker. Radio reception is surprisingly good for such a small and inexpensive device. Nothing in this price range can touch it. Maybe it's not for the radio enthusiast and it does have some issues, but it's quite good and feature-packed for anyone who is as price volucan shoes as myself. Definitely still a 5 out of 5 despite its little bugs. I couldn't figure out a way to tune the radio manually up or down a step. It also doesn't receive any shortwave signals below 4. 75 ohms or above 21. 85 ohms but that range covers most broadcast stations that can be received in the states with the exception of the stuff that can sometimes be heard in the threams to forms range and the lower frequency ham radio band, which is mostly unreceivable from a radio such as this, as it doesn't receive single sideband signals. From the brand previous page Multifunction Radio, visit the store Simple Radio Plug and Wall, visit the store Pocket Radio, visit the store Portable, and CD Radio visit the store Retix has been innovating and working hard in the field of wireless communication technology for more than 10 years. Retix has professional teams working on wireless technology application and innovation. Products and solutions serve over 20 industries. It includes radio restaurant call system, 
travel guide system, and so on. What makes our products unique, RETEKESS brand strives to find the best solution for short-range wireless technology calling, creating a wireless transmission system for Retix products and services. Our team has been researching wireless technology deeply, actively exploring market changes, and expanding its product line to cover all age groups and different usage scenarios. At the same time, high quality and professional customer support make our products unique. Why do we love what we do? We aim to adopt wireless technology to make communication easier next page. Product linked in the description below. Our first question is from Ken L. How do you save a radio preset station? First, auto scan all the stations by follow reviewer Solid Mini March 27, 2017 answer. For preset station to know. For preset station to know. Four, push play button I I once and push again one more time to save it to memory. Okay. Done. You can preset 80 stations on FM60 on M300 on SW. For me, I will not preset more than total 20 stations. Why see less? One button. One button. One by pushy button to find your preferred station. One by pushy button to find your preferred station. Two push orange memo five button for two sec. Two push orange memo five button for two sec. You will see the CHXX flashing. You will see the CHXX flashing. Three key and number one now show CH1. Three key and number one now show CH1. Four push play button I I onk see more first auto scan all the stations by follow reviewer Solid Mini March 27, 2017 answer. Product linked in the description below. For more content like this, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified of new uploads. We upload new videos every day. See you next time.